Okay, so in this video, we're going to do a continuation of our last video. But in this case, again, we're going to have a type 2 problem because this one is giving us a initial concentration of pyruvic acid, um, and it says determine the pH of it given the Ka. So we're, you know, we have a Ka, so this is type 2. We're Ka, you know, given Ka, comma, concentration of HA initial. And then what it wants to know is what is the concentration of the H3O plus at equilibrium. So we're looking for an equilibrium concentration. However, in this case, we may have to use a quadratic. So there is going to be some cases where you will have to use a quadratic, and we'll look at how that may affect things in this one. Okay, so let's start out. Our first step is always to write out the equation. So I just check to look at things. All I have in this solution is pyruvic acid and water. So I don't have any other bases around. So this is going to be the HC3H3O3 aqueous plus H2O liquid as my base. And this is going to give H3O plus plus C3H3O3 minus aqueous. And step two, of course, is to write my Ka, which is equal to the concentration of C3H3O3 minus times the concentration of H3O plus divided by the concentration of HC3H3O3. Okay, and so that's, that's how we set up the, the basic parts. So now the, the third step is always to go right to your ice table. So for the ice table in this case, I'm going to do HA, H3O plus, and A minus. And, A minus. and you're going to see me start to convert over to, from the full-blown uh, equations to the HA, H3O plus, and A minus. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's just a shorthand. So you should be prepared on the test to write the full-blown equations. Um, but, you know, if, if that's not being asked, if you're not being asked for them, you can write the shorthand just to make things go a little faster. Okay, so let's look at our initial concentration, which was 0 0.0030 molar. Uh, and then we have 0 molar and 0 molar for those, because we don't, we don't have any H3O plus in there. Um, we're just putting in the acid and letting it equilibrate. So we're going to get minus X, plus X, and plus X. And so we're going to get 0 0.0030 molar minus X, X, and X. And so we can come over to our K equation, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 4. And on top, we're going to have x squared over 0 0.0030 molar minus x. And now, of course, at this point, you're going to ask yourself, can I do my approximation? Um, is will Based on this set of parameters, can I eliminate this x? And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our concentration of our acid divided by our Ka and see if it's greater than 100. And in this case, we're going to do 0 0.0030 molar divided by 1.4 times 10 to the minus 4. And we're going to ask ourselves, is this greater than 100? And it's not. So in this case, the assumption is not valid. And unfortunately, what that means is that the x stays. So I am going to erase it just to get rid of the circle. But the x will stay in this case. And we got to do a quadratic. So you got to reorganize things a little bit. Um, you're going to have to uh, distribute the 1.4 times 10 to the minus 4 into the 0 0.0030 molar minus x. So what I'm saying is basically you take 1.4 times 10 to the minus 4. You multiply that by 0 0.0030 molar minus x is equal to x squared. Uh, once you do all that reorganization, you're going to get... Um, you're going to get, for your root, you're going to get... Uh, let me just see here what I have. I have... Uh, I, I organize this down to 4.2 times 10 to the minus 7th minus 1.4 times 10 to the minus 4x minus x squared is equal to 0. So I have my C, B, and A, where A is minus 1. B is equal to minus 1.4 times 10 to the minus 4. And C is equal to 4.2 times 10 to the minus 7. So you're going to use your calculator or you're going to use the quadratic equation, you're going to get two roots. So you're going to get two roots. One's going to be positive and one's going to be negative. We can obviously get rid of the negative root because you can't have a negative concentration, so that goes away. And so we get our root, x1, which is going to be equal to our concentration of H3O plus and is going to be equal to our concentration of A minus. And so in this case, since the question is just asking us for the pH, we can take the negative log of the 5.87 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. 
which is our HPO plus concentration, which gives us 3.24 molar. So in this case, you can see the setup is exactly the same as our other type 2 case. The only thing is that the approximation doesn't work in this case, in which case you have to work it down into an a square, AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to zero, and then plug it into your calculator to do a quadratic or to solve the quadratic equation.